Without a shadow of a doubt, we all can agree, believers and unbelievers, that God, the Creator, is holy. Amen? Not only that he's holy, but Isaiah said he's holy, holy, holy. Three times. The holiness of God. Amen? Amen? You know, since week, the Spirit revealed to me, and they said they might try to kill you. And as him released that word in my hearing, the first thought that come to my mind, I was saying, then I need to pray along this line. And I say, the Bible says something along this line that they that dig a pit will fall in it. And I was saying, that's what I'm going to pray, that whoever trying to destroy my life, I will pray that disaster eat them. And then the Spirit said to me, no. He said, bless them. Amen? Still, speaking about the holiness of God. Because God wills is not always. God wills is far higher than always. Throughout the scripture, we see that God stepped down. And the moment he stepped down to a place, the place become holy. And he said, take off your shoes from off your feet. The place where you stand is holy ground. We see God touch the mountain by coming down upon the mountain. And the mountain become holy. And anybody does venture up upon the mountain, then will be stoned to death because it become holy. Amen? I'm speaking about the holiness of God. Even with the man of God, Joshua, the same thing was said to him, take off your sandal from off your feet for the place where you stand is holy ground. I'm speaking about the holiness of God. Hallelujah. The holiness of God. He said, be ye holy, for the Lord your God is holy. So it requires his people to be holy. But you can never be holy without the Holy Spirit. Because only the Holy Spirit make it possible for anyone to be holy. Amen. It takes the Holy Spirit in order for someone to become holy. It is impossible without the Holy Spirit for you to become holy. Amen? I'm still speaking to you on the topic. Hallelujah. The holiness of God. So what it means when we say holy, we're talking about absolute perfection where God is concerned. Amen? No flaws. Perfect. Amen. And flawless. Glory to his marvelous name. Cleanness, purity is pure. As some majesty. The Bible put it this way. And it said, God is light. And in him there is no darkness whatsoever. Amen. So the Bible said we were called out of darkness into his marvelous light. When the demon them see Jesus, it wasn't Jesus that saw them. Jesus 
Jesus saw a man, but the demon in him saw that Jesus was the Son of God. That means, say, as children of the light, there is light really eating from the believer. Mm -hmm. Amen? There is something that caused the believer to stand out. Because as I said before, it's the Holy Spirit that bring the holiness of God to a vessel. Sanctify them. Set them apart. Consecrate them. Morally pure. To view as being complete in him because in him we find our completeness amen glory to his marvelous name there is none holy as the Lord, there is none beside thee, neither is there any rock like our God, there is none Because of that. 